I so serious? Okay. <laughs> you do that, you do that so the, that the lips and the, and the talking and the sound line up. Make a, make a sound like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Good morning. Here we are. Now, in following along with the what is life? What is life getting old? Right? Let me tell you. This is what life is getting old. On any typical Saturday night, Years ago, if I heard music off in a distance, I'd curl the hair and beat the mug, grab an outfit, and, and follow the trail of the sound. Because somewhere there was a party. Right? You know, I'm bold and brassy. I'll crash it. They'll love me. Right? And nine times out of ten, it would work for me, and sometimes I'd end up working there and making money. Right? Now cut to this age. Last night. Loud music. from a bar not too far from where I live. When I say loud, I mean loud, loud, <laughs> okay. Yes, but I did not curl the hair. I did not beat the mug. I did not follow the trail of the sound. No, I sit there, <laughs> you know. And, and put the headphones on not to listen to anything but to block out <clears throat> now I have become my mother I think it is as inevitable as breathing that eventually we liken some of our traits to those who influenced us greatly early on in life. Okay? And I recall my mother being like, what are you doing? It's 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, I know. Stuff's just starting to happen. It's Saturday. I'm getting ready to go out. I. It's just Saturday. What's the point? And I'm like, because it's Saturday. You know, follow the logic. It's Saturday. That's why. So last night, as my head was being embraced by the headphones and trying to block out a bass line that just didn't seem to make any sense to me, but what's what's their thing? It's just Saturday. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I think we're there. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know if we're very real with each other that there are probably factions of our, all of our lives that we just did not tell our parents, you know? And I think we put those into reserve for later in life when we become more casual, you know, with those influencers in our lives that, that help bring us up and 
<laughs> and then we then we start the road to confession, right? You know, uh, mom, uh, when 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 you when you told me, you know, don't don't take the car out of town, and I took the car out of town. I did it for a good reason. Okay. And I, and, and I know I shouldn't have, but I did. But see, the reason that you wait to make those sort of confessions later on in your adult life is because you know you have your own place and you can't be grounded. So, <clears throat> the lady that raised me owned a car lot, right? And... It was great. It was it was fantastic. You know, throw a dealer tag on the car, and you know, go 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 on. And so she had uh, gotten a a little Subaru. All right. And she says, uh, and if you're going to use the Subaru tonight, don't take it out of town. Okay. Says I. Do you mind if I pick up a couple of my friends, though? Because, you know, we wanted to go and, and hang out. No, 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 that's fine, she says. Okay. So, <sighs> mm. pick up my friends, and uh, one of them says, Hey, I got to give you some gas money. There's, there's, there's an issue. And I'm like, what's your issue? My cousin went on a date. Now, I was in Zanesville and Newark, Ohio is about a 25-minute drive. And it is technically out of town. Okay? A different county. She says, my cousin has been on a date and the guy turned out to be a total jerk and she stranded in a bar in Newark and her parents don't know that's where she is and the guy left her so if I give you some gas money would you go pick her up yeah okay <laughs> says I so we put some gas in the car and, you know, take old Route 40 from Zanes, Tucky to Nurk, Zanesville to Newark. And it began to snow. A lot. <laughs> and on the way back from Newark, Black ice being what it is. <laughs> I had a guardrail on a bridge and a guardrail on a bridge and a guardrail on a bridge. The State Highway Patrol shows up and takes us to the closest hospital, which is the Newark Hospital. Now, I have totaled the most recent purchase for my mother's car lot. Right? And I am in the emergency room. And I hear my mother's voice. Oh, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get in trouble. Here she comes. I can hear her clickety, 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 clickety of them wedgies coming up the tile. Yeah, life is over as I know it. I'm pretty sure. And I look right into the nurse's face and I'm like, hey, can you put a neck brace on me or something? Can, I think my neck's stiff. Can you put a neck brace on me? And, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I think maybe put, 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 maybe, can I have a sling for my arm? Uh, 
can you knock me senseless and give me a black eye or something? Because I'm really scared right now. And she starts laughing and, you know, in walks Charlotte. She says, uh, what's this about then? <laughs> yeah. So, well, um, you see, she told me that she was going to give him gas money and her cousin was stranded and needed to go and be picked up. And I did it. And I'm sorry. She says, I know you are. I know you are. I spent $650 on that Subaru. It's busted. There's no coming back with that car. Do you think that your friends are going to pay for that? No. They're already on their way home. Um, I'm very, very sorry. I know you are, she says. But sometimes sorry don't cut it, you know. It took me eight months of working diligently over and over and over to pay off that car. And I mean every penny. You know, every penny went right into paying for that. Now this is how good of a woman I was raised by. At the end of paying off that car, she handed me a stack of U.S. service bonds for the total that I paid for the car. She told me to hold on to them because eventually they would be worth more. It's Memorial Day. Buy some U.S. bonds. You know, invest in your own country. She was always, always, always supporting her, her own, myself included. I love her with all my heart. And I am very, very fortunate. Have a great Memorial Day, and I shall never forget her. I am.